All right, now we're going to be working with this activity 3.2.2 loads package to solve the problems that are in this. And I'm going to flip the page here and we're going to take a look at what we've done so far. Now, there is uh, two groups of problems that you're going to do here. You're going to do problems num numbers one through seven and then problem number eight is a combination of all the steps that we're going to go through in numbers uh, one through seven. So the first one that we need to do is we need to calculate the load for the slow slope flat roof, the snow load, I should say. And uh, in your book, you'll have done that right here with me in the video previous to this and you'll have found uh, that the value is going to be 22 uh, PSF for that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip the page here and we we're going to set this up exactly like we did for the Chicago High School which is what problem numbers one through seven are for uh, but number eight problem number eight is for our uh, library in Noblesville, Indiana, and you will have calculated out a particular snow load for that. So that is what you did here. So we went from number two, one here to problem number eight, which is uh, right here. So all of this information gets input into here and you calculate out what the uh, correct snow load is, design snow load I should say, is for Noblesville, Indiana. Now we're going to go back to number two in our package and it says find the roof live loading required by the IBC and so letter A says find the flat roof on the IBC table 1607 minimum live loads and that is right here and I know that this is impossible for you to read on this camera Let's see if I focus it if that will work better maybe not maybe if I bring it down You'll be able to see it. There we go. So it says that uh, this is an ordinary flat, pitched, and curved roofs. That's what this designation is. And when you slide it over, that value is 20. That's why I have it highlighted in purple there. So I'm going to bring this back up. So on my autofocus here. There we go. Okay. On my answer key, what I'm going to do for number two is uh, it says find the flat roof on the IBC 1607.1 minimum live snow loads, and I'm going to put in the value of 20 right there. So that gets a 20. Now, for problem number 8, I'm going to go to go to that. And problem number 8 says at the bottom of it, right here, it says find the roof live load for a flat roof in the IBC 1607.1 minimum live snow loads we really don't have to go look it up again because we just did it that value right there is going to be the same as it was on the first one and that is 20. okay now we're going to move on to question number three and it tells us that we have to estimate the dead load of the roofing system by estimating the weight of all the roof components 
Note that typically the ceiling, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing MEP will be supported by the roof framing and not the roof deck, but we're going to conservatively include those loads for all roof calculations. I want you to also remember something earlier in the problem. It told us that MEP, they gave us a value um, of 10 PSF, and that is just assumed. So I'm going to put 10 and that's PSF, and that is just an assumed value right there. Now, we have to find the values for the rest of these things. Built up roof, the five inches of rigid insulation, the steel roof deck, the suspended ceiling, and once we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna total all those values up, and we're gonna get a total dead load uh, calculation I guess is the best way to put it. Okay, so how we do that, I'm going to change to this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look up for built up roof. So uh, you have this package and in it is the weights of materials and you're going to see on here uh, different materials. So right now this is brick and block. I am looking for a built up roof. So concrete partitions, I'm reading these, glass, insulation, scroll down here, finished materials, I believe there's one for roof, here it is, built up, 6.5. So in this, I'll go back to the camera, right here, I want to put 6.5. Now the next one I'm going to look up is for the rigid insulation. Um, let's see. All right. So I'm going to look for insulation, I think, is the heading for this one. Finished materials. Ah, insulation. Here it is. And we've got different insulations, but we do have in rigid insulation per one inch, and it's 0.75. So back to the table. So I'm going to put in 0.75 right there. Now, there are 5 inches of rigid insulation. So I'm going to multiply 0.75 times 5, and that is going to equal 3.75. So I'm going to put... 3.75 right there. Next, steel roof deck. So Alt Tab. And this is roof, so I think roof was down here. Here we go. And we've got all the materials here. Don't mix up stainless steel with steel. There's steel deck, and that's a value of 3. So steel roof deck is going to be a 3. And then the last thing is 5 8 suspended ceiling. Alt tab. Oh, suspended ceiling right there. Uh, let's see, material that's 3 quarters. Uh, mineral fiber board, 5 eighths of an inch, 1.4. So... 1.4. Now I'm going to take all of these things and I'm going to add them up. And I'm looking for the total dead load here on my roof. So I put in 6.5 plus 3.75 plus 3 plus 1.4 plus the assumed 10, that's going to equal 24.65, so 24.65, and we're going to say, we're just going to round this one up to 25 PSF for that number. Now, your job is to go to question 8, so I'm going to flip to question 8, right now I'm on 8. 
I'm going to go to the next page. Oops. Went too far. There we go. So this is 8C. You'll see it right here, 8C. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to look up the roof material and its weight for uh, a built-up roof or EDPM. Metal deck, 5 inches of rigid insulation. The suspended plaster ceiling with lath. This is different. Oh, this is this is MEP, and this is going to be the same value as we used in the uh, problem number three. Uh, assumed got put down here. It should be over at the other end, but that's okay. Then you're going to add all of those up, and you're going to come up with a value down here. Okay? So I'll let you guys do that work.